Welcome back. This is Mike with Crooked Crow Crafting. I was playing around making templates from my Nautiproxon hot water foam cutter and looking at the pieces I had cut, I decided to make some scatter terrain. And since I've been reading a lot of Caiaphas Kane novels from the Black Library, I decided to do a Warhammer 40k inspired scatter terrain. So I made a little monument, a little steel monument with some Gene Steeler cult graffiti on it. I hope you enjoy the video. I started with a couple of octagon pieces. With these, I could make a monument or a fountain. The secret to using chipboard for templates is to saturate the chipboard with water thin superglue after it is cut. The pieces come out very rigid. Any rough areas can be sanded easily. Twelve volts is my go-to setting for the nichrome wire I have. After cutting the base pieces, I tried my hand at making an octagonal pillar. Here are the base pieces that I'm going to use for the Aquila Monument. I made the template for the steel Aquila using MS PowerPoint. It's just a bunch of triangles and rectangles. The Aquila was printed out and glued to some trash cardboard. It's actually from a popsicle box. I used thin chipboard to make supports for the wing pieces. Two Aquilas were printed for the front and back sides of the monument. You can see the dropper bottles I'm using now for the super glue and accelerator. Selling accelerator and spray bottles is terrible. Too much is wasted. This pinpoint dispenser is working perfect. The wings are almost finished. After marking the stone pattern, I textured them and glued them up. Here I'm squaring up the column.
I sealed everything with Mod Podge and gray spray primer. I needed some rivets to add some detail to the steel Aquila, so I used a leather punch. They were then placed on with white glue. Coffee latte, dark chocolate, deep burgundy, and gray frost were used to color the stones. Coffee latte was used to dry brush the base. I finished with a gray frost dry brush. It was then time to black wash. And a dry brush coat of gray frost. Here I'm using my $53 airbrush. It works great for priming. This was the first time it was used for painting. I used Vallejo model air steel. So a little typhus corrosion was used to weather the steel. To make it more corroded, I used AK Interactive Crusted Rust with a piece of sponge. I did add some rust streaks using a mix of Reaper Brilliant Red and Harvest Brown, but I seem to have lost the video. You can see the effect in the still picture. Well, I also don't have any video of when I added some Army Painter Force Sprite Speed Paint for a little moss effect, or when the Aquila was joined to the base, or when I painted the Gene Stealer Cult symbol. Using the template I cut of the Gene Stealer Cult symbol, I spray painted Vallejo Cool White as a base then sprayed Citadel Tesseract Glow. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless of the lost video. Please give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.